welcome back. So today I have a video for you guys that are five things that you guys should know before you have brain surgery. Also, quickly, I love the makeup that I did today. Let me know if you guys would like to see a video on how I created this because I am just like loving it. I don't ever use color, so this was like a big thing for me and I think it looks so cute. But yeah, let me know down below and I can make this happen. So if you would like to see the five things, then just keep watching. Obviously, everybody is different, so this is just the things that I personally either experienced or things that I think that are important for you um, if you're gonna have brain surgery or just anything surgery that might affect you. Yeah. All right, number one, before you have brain surgery, you need to write every possible password you have because you could forget it. I obviously had brain cancer and these are things that we did not do and we're just telling you of the things that you should do if you are having brain surgery. So I did not know that I wasn't gonna remember like literally anything, everything. So I didn't have my passwords for literally anything. So you need to make sure for literally any specific thing that you want to remember because you are going to forget. For example that I'm talking about now is like my computer, my laptop, anything like that. I had no idea what the passwords were to get into them, um, but make sure you have all of your passwords like written down before you have your surgery because it is extremely difficult for you to try to remember all of the passwords when you literally just don't know anything. <laughs> Number two. Write down your pin. Ah, good time. So I wanted to buy something after my surgery and you know, you try to use your little pin thing. Yeah, if you don't know your pin, you can't spend money for the stuff that you wanna buy. I thought I had my pin. I thought I knew it, I didn't. I sat there for like forever trying to write it down and like type it in. Yeah, it never ended up working. So we had to go into the bank to cancel it and then get a new one. So funny thing, when you get a new pin, you have to know your last one. And of course I didn't know it. So we ended up going to the bank and the bank was helpful, very helpful. I was a mess because, I mean obviously, after I had already gone through everything and all these things, like this was pretty recent after and I couldn't remember everything, I was getting very, very pissed at myself that I couldn't even think of these things. And then the bank was like telling me that, I don't even remember 100 percent, but I do remember me sitting there and crying. So we couldn't figure it out. Um, and then obviously we did end up getting it, but it was like, just if you're trying to be buying something, if you have like a pin, if you have like a debit card, remember your pin or write it down once again, because you probably will not remember. All right, number three. Number three is a little bit different than the others, but I would make sure you are kind of writing things down in the beginning and until you're like very ending of your journey for it. I think for me, you guys have seen all of this, like the progress I have made from my surgery till the end. And I honestly, think you should just because it is very interesting to see all the progress and like the steps having, having to take to get to where I am today. It's not an easy task to go through all of these things, but you will be okay. So I would just say you will want to know the the progress that you're taking in the beginning when i was like filming you don't need to film the video just kind of like write things down or anything like that whatever you're having it so you can know your progress but like when i was doing mine i started it off and i like was being very self-conscious about like how i was doing everything and then i ended up not not even wanting to film or anything because i was feeling so self-conscious about like myself but i obviously did i would say either write it down if you want to film or like just so you you personally can remember how your progress goes from like beginning to end. So I would 
I would recommend for you to do that. Number four, one thing that kind of goes along with the last one is don't get discouraged. I got dis discouraged a lot, um, pretty much for my speech though. So if you don't have on the left side of your brain, you might not have issues with your speech. I did because mine was on the speech part, what? The left lobe over here. I think that's what it's called, the lobe. And um, this goes with your speech area. So that's how I lost mine. Um, not lost it, but you know, it's here, but like, I had to like kind of redo everything for my brain. Um, so don't get discouraged. I know so many times I felt like an absolute idiot. I felt so stupid. And especially during chemo, when you have chemo, when I have chemo pills, they definitely make do make you feel stupid. Like they truly do make you feel stupid, not just like, oh, I'm so stupid. Like it actually makes you feel stupid. Um, but after chemo, you're like four or five days, you feel smarter. Um, but don't get discouraged for anything. You have to remember everything that you're going through right now is a lot. It's a lot to go through. And just know once you're done, you're gonna get better and better every single day. So don't be discouraged. You are going to be fantastic. You are amazing. Just don't get discouraged. That's a hard word. Um, you're gonna be great. Number five, this is just something I wanna share with you. If you are going through chemo, I went through chemo pills, um, and chemo pills make you want to inventory literally everything. <laughs> I did not know um, that this was gonna happen, and I don't know if other people go through these things as well, but me, myself and I, when I was on chemo, I felt the need to inventory literally everything, like everything. And it was always in like the middle of the night. I'd wake up or I'd be like trying to go to bed and I just couldn't think about where this shirt from like two years ago was located. So I went through my entire like drawer trying to find this dumb shirt. And it was like daily of different products that I couldn't remember where they were, like where they were located. And I'd be like, oh my God, I'm pretty sure I bought like five of these, these shirts, but all I have is four. I need to find all of them to make sure that that's where they are. And I'd go through and my mom would be like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I can't find my shirt. And she's be like, Courtney, you don't need it right now. And I was like, yes, I need to know where this shirt is. And if I couldn't find it, I would need to buy it online like quickly, like, what is it when you have to like quickly buy it and you wanna like get it back tomorrow? Or you wanna get it tomorrow, whatever. So I would have to buy it. And then I'd notice that they have like six other colors online. So I'd have to buy all of those. It was, <laughs> it was a mess. So like there's so many shirts that I have like of literally every single color because I thought that that was important at that time. But thank God I am done with that. Um, so definitely stay aware if you are going through chemo pills, you will need to inventory everything that you own. You just, you might, because that's what happened to me. All right guys, so these are the five things that I think that are important to let you guys know if you were having brain surgery. So I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know down below if you guys would like to kind of learn more things about the brain that I have gone through and things like that. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to put that bell up here somewhere. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so, so much and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.